Today I'm going to be sharing with you my favorite attractions at the Disneyland Resort in Anaheim, California. You might notice I said attractions because <laughs> the first thing isn't a ride. I wanted to pick something in like every part, if that makes sense, like every part of the park. So Main Street USA, that's like the first thing you see when you walk in to the Disneyland side. I love the Emporium windows. They are gorgeous and even though it's not a ride, it is an attraction. I think a lot of people when they go to Disneyland, they have to walk by the Emporium windows at least once and see what's up because they change not a lot, but like there's I don't know if they have a certain time frame. I don't go enough to know this, but I know that they do change the movies and movie scenes and they move and there's like they have the scene but the characters are actually like 3D, they're not flat and I don't know, the whole effect of it is like Disney magic in a window, basically. So yeah, that's like my favorite thing about Main Street. The next one I have on my list is Adventureland. My favorite attraction there is Indiana Jones. I have always loved Indiana Jones. I watched the movies growing up. I watch them now and I am so glad there's a ride. My only complaint is that every time I get on the ride, when it ends without fail, I'm depressed because I feel like it's too short. Like, if that thrilling ride was an hour long, I would stand in line and go on it. No shame. Like, I don't even care. I would go on it. I just, every time I go on it, I'm like, oh, it's so short. It's not only my favorite attraction in Adventureland, it's one of my favorite attractions in the whole park. Moving on to New Orleans Square, my favorite attraction, Pirates of the Caribbean. Obviously, I'm like really into the adventure rides. The first time I ever went on this ride, I was scared to death of the drops. And I still hate drops, but I can't believe that <laughs> I went from being terrified to loving this ride. Once I got over the initial fear of not knowing what was going to happen, it was like totally fine. Frontierland is next. And let me tell you, this attraction is not just my favorite attraction in Frontierland. It's actually my favorite ride in like this park and all the parks. I haven't been to all the parks, but it's just my favorite ride ever. Big Thunder Mountain Railroad. This is a roller coaster. I hate roller coasters, but it's like medium level. It's not like a baby coaster, but it's not like Six Flags level. <laughs> it's just like, it's perfect, okay? It's like thrilling, but I can enjoy it without feeling like I'm gonna be sick. You know, I'm not like covering my eyes in terror. I just, I love it so much. Next is Critter Country, and I have, I have nothing for Critter Country. I don't, there's just, I mean, there's not a whole lot there, and to be honest, I never really spend time in Critter Country, so, sorry. Fantasyland. I have two answers for this. One is a ride and one's an attraction. It's, okay, so the ride is Peter Pan. That has always been my favorite story ride. The way it's set up and how you fly over the scenes, it not only feels appropriate for Peter Pan, but I don't know, there's just something about it that's just like, ugh, you just know it's Disney. The attraction is the Sleeping Beauty Castle. <sighs> it's, it's just pretty to me, and it has a special place in my heart. No matter if I go to other parks, 
it's always going to be my favorite castle, just like Disneyland's always going to be my favorite Disney park. Also, I love the castle because that's where some of the shows take place and the fireworks show. It's just like, it's a magical place to be. Toontown. Now, I was more into Toontown as a kid just because it's more about pictures because of like the houses and the cute furniture and that kind of thing and meeting characters. There's not really any rides there, but I do love Minnie's house. So I just picked Minnie's house. I don't know. It's just, it's Minnie. We now are setting foot in the future. Tomorrowland. <sighs> so. I actually like a few things in Tomorrowland. However, one of them is not there anymore. I loved Captain EO. Unfortunately, it came back because of Michael Jackson's passing. At least, I think that's the reason. And it was actually really special for me because I visited Disneyland after he passed. And I got to see Captain EO for the first time. And I even got a pin to commemorate that special moment. And, I don't know. It just... It had the Michael Jackson magic to it. It was cheesy, but it was Michael Jackson, and it never failed to give me chills at the end with the big song and dance number. Like, ugh, it was so good. I also really love Astro Blasters. That's what it's called, right? I'm not good at it. Like, I... <sighs> My brothers beat me. My dad's probably beat me. My mom's beat me. Like, everyone beats me. Why? I I get on there and I'm like, oh, this is my time. I'm going to do it. Never. <laughs> I don't think I've ever won on that game. So, yeah. But I still love it. And maybe this next trip, maybe this is my time to shine. The attraction I picked for my favorite, after rambling, is Star Tours. Because... <laughs> I love Star Wars. Okay, we have come to the end of the list because there's only one attraction left. That is my favorite ride in Disney California Adventure. I thought about splitting up DCA, but there's very few rides that I go on. Normally, really the only things I do in DCA are get in line for cars and that pretty much takes up half of the day. <laughs> I mean I love cars but that line I think that's why it's not my favorite attraction. Anyways <laughs> my favorite ride can you guess? I don't like roller coasters. Can you guess now? What else is there Lauren? What else is there? Da Grizzly River run. I love this raft ride. It's so fun and it's obviously more California themed than Disney themed but I love it. It's so fun. I hate the drop. <laughs> I got really lucky my first few times on it because I didn't have to go backwards because the, the raft you're in is circular. So it spins the whole time you're going, and I mean, it's like roulette. Like, who's going to have to go down the drop backwards? <laughs> and the very first time I did, I screamed my head off. But I still love it. And not a lot of people talk about this ride, but I don't know. I really like it, and it's very refreshing on a hot summer day. I would love to hear your favorite attractions in Disneyland, or if you've never been to Disneyland, you could tell me your favorite attraction in one of the other parks. I'd love to chat with you down below in the comment section. If you liked this video, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to hit the red button down below to subscribe and become a member of my YouTube family. 
Also, click the bell to turn on your notifications. I will see you in my next video. Bye!